Hello and welcome to another episode of Eleven Somerset. We are going to play episode nine, The Indian's Ear. Last time we had a look at the episode The Star, which was quite interesting, but today it's The Indian's Ear. Remember Max, the mysterious Indian from the forest? He sent us an enigma, a strange sound recording. But what is this sound? Where does it come from? It's all so mysterious. Start your investigation at Max's cabin and try to find out what's going on. Keep your ears open. <laughs> Okay, so in this episode we are looking for a solution to this strange sound. <laughs> and we are going to start at the cabin of this mysterious Indian. Max, for friends. First thing we're going to do is pick up this microphone. That allows us to point at different sections on the screen. And it will record those samples. So this is the didgeridoo. Let's see what else we can find. Guitar. And some normal wind sounds. There's a CD here which we need. And. Jews harp. Never heard of this before, but apparently an instrument. We can turn on this lamp. But that's about it for this cabin. Clicking on that item gives us a visit to the museum. And here we are going to look for some more sounds. No explanation needed. Some speakers. Nothing else in that direction. There's a CD player here which we'll come to uh, return to later. Fine X Cola. <laughs> right. There's another CD here, which we're going to listen to straight away. Apparently, a CD filled with cosmic wind. Be interesting to listen to. The other one. Some monks chanting, singing. And, uh, they produce two different sounds at the same time. I've tried that, it's very hard. Anyway, nothing else here. We go through this door. We are faced with a, well, a sparkling security device, which we need to fix. Basic idea is, uh, is already set up here. We need to, you know, connect all the parts and guide. the electricity through. It's not that difficult. There we 
we go. Now, there's a lot to explore in this room. Um, first, we're going to play a game. We are actually this little rowboat over here. We need to try and capture sounds coming from these animals, these three animals. This is our, well, joystick, I assume. So the first one is the whale. Fascinating animal. The second is the gull. Very annoying, but beautiful in its own way. And the third one is uh, dolphin or seal. They have no ears. Apparently. So, we're going to look for more sounds. Crackling. Campfire. Ooh. Renard, the fox. He looks menacing, doesn't he? Okay, you win. So all these are animal sounds. And um What's in there? Going through this door? Um Yes, I thought I heard something. Listen to that too long, otherwise we'll have to pause this video and come back later. But we are in a new room. There are a few items. Remember that skull? Can't do anything with it, but from our previous episodes. Okay, this um, is a little Simon says. Repeat after me. Not the most difficult one, luckily. Sorry, yes, that was uh, quite advertising. But we found enough clues. But uh, we're going to look for more clues, obviously. Because there are two more. This is one, the dream catcher. Made some terrific adventure games. But there is also a strange looking man over here, which we can do nothing with, strangely enough. And some strange face, which, um, yeah. Okay, so one more clue. The ventilation. And that brings us to the answer module. Which we can choose. Was this an animal? We've seen the bear, whale, seal, gulls, but. Was it a musical instrument? Guitar we've seen, didgeridoo, some Jews harp. Was it a human? We've seen, we haven't seen many humans, snoring and 
maybe some chanting, or was it the wind? Well, that is very unlikely, was it? <laughs> no, it's of course a human, and um, the chanting of the monks, plus the rhythm we completed with the uh, throat singing, and the snoring, which <laughs> I don't know how that got in there, but anyway, that is the correct answer. And we've done it again, solved another puzzle. So, hope you will join me for number 10. We are getting there. Thank you and goodbye.